Hey, what's up guys? This is Kyle Jones with Jones Sport Fishing and today is the 5th of July, 2022. So it's the day after the 4th. Um, finally got a day off. It's been crazy last couple of weeks here and uh, finally got a day off and we're now on the Upper Columbia catching Chinook and Sockeye. And so I wanted to get you guys a good report here on what's been going on. So the first few days of the season were definitely a little bit different than last year. We um, didn't really see the awesome king bite at the spot that we normally start the season at, but we've made a few adjustments and we're now doing really, really well on both Chinook and Sockeye. We're not really, we're not to the point where we're hitting limits of both Chinook and Sockeye yet. That's coming. We've got, a, we have 40,000 Sockeye, a couple dams down from us. So uh, it's about to get absolutely wild here. But uh, as you can see, sun's out, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, fish has been really good. We've been getting lots of kings. We are, um, we're trolling we don't a lot of guys fish either just sockeye or just kings or they kind of have this idea that you can't do both at the same time well i'm here to tell you that we fish for both at the same time especially while water temperatures are low these these sockeye and chinook will all bite the same setups if you just do a couple of things with your setup to make it so they're fishing both um the first thing i want to talk about is trolling depth on these fish uh, in these, especially in these pools around these dams and stuff, both these Chinook and Sockeye are shallow. Like my two, my numbers on my line counters yesterday, the two hot numbers were I had, you can see Henry's coming in. I had my 12, I had my 10 ounces on my bow rods at 20 feet on the line counter. And I had my back rods with eight ounces at, uh, at 22 feet on the line counter and those were my those are my hot setup so those rigs are only fishing you know maybe 15 feet down not very deep and in fact those sockeye are a lot of times i could see them on my sonar a lot of times they're even higher but i find that to be kind of the happy medium where i'm getting both um so and here i'll get, show you guys a quick couple of little setups that uh we've been doing really good on here henry's gonna grab one um go ahead and get the flasher and everything for me so we've been running um we're down here we like running sorry guys we're, we like running the the pro trolls the short buses uh the, the the spin doctors there's a number of really really good 360 flashers the key is they need to be able to roll at a fairly low uh low speed so a, a flasher with a fin is is almost a guaranteed go we run that i don't know like between my flasher and my lead i'm at like 24 inches on the bumper and then leader wise i'm around 30 inches maybe a little bit more down to a uh and this is the rig that we really target both sockeye and chinook with um down to a uh a 3.5 spinner blade and a treble and you can see that i tie mine on monofilament or or floral carbon and i like those interchangeable blades or uh, clevises i used to fish the black plastic ones that weren't interchangeable but um because you didn't lose as many blades but anymore i'm okay with losing a few blades and having the ability to change out my blades without having to change a new spinner so that's uh that's one of my setups right there that one um that color right there that that green dot that's always good but i'm changing my blades throughout the day based on the sun um if it's cloudy and stuff a lot of times more of those those uh solid colors can be really good uh if it's really bright out especially mid midday it seems like the uh straight metallic blades seem to be better and then i always have um kind of a designated chinook rod out because there's a lot of times where you guys that fish super baits know i mean you just can't beat trolling around super bait so same thing 24 inch bumper to uh to maybe a little bit longer of a leader on the super bait maybe 36 to 40 inches and then uh that one right there has been hot so two hooks i i've gone back to running two trebles i try to make sure that back i put a bead up under the hood and i try to make sure that back treble is running just off the butt of the uh of the super bait and that seems to account for a pile of hookups but yeah just tuna in the uh in the super bait and you're good to go but yeah guys this fishery has is kicked off this is just probably one of the most amazing fisheries of the year we there is no other time and place where we send home bags of fish to our customers like we do here i mean yesterday we had we had five chinook five big chinook half of them were like 18 to 19 pounds 
Um, and the other ones were, were still really, really good, you know, 12, 13 pound Chinook. So we had those in bags and then we had 10 sockeye. So, I mean, there's no better opportunity to catch a bunch of fish and go home with a bunch of fish than this fishery right now. All of our other salmon fisheries are fairly limited, just, you know, maybe one or two fish limits, that kind of thing. But here, I mean, opportunity for both Chinook and sockeye, I can't think of anything better. So we, and we do have a few openings and there's going to be so many sockeye around here in a couple weeks that uh, I am going to, um, there's going to be a number of days where I have four hour uh, half day trips available. And so on those half day trips, it's kind of a cool deal. Um, there's a three person minimum on them and they're private boats. So if you book three of the three seats on there, it's just going to be you guys and we can jump out for a half day in the evening a lot of times. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have one of the boys or Kylie jump in as a deckhand and uh, we'll get after him in the evening. So keep an eye out for those evening trips. Give us a call, guys. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, really appreciate you guys watching. God bless you. And I will have a report out probably next Sunday to let you know how we've been doing since then. But if you guys just watch our Instagram at Jones Sport Fishing and uh, you'll see all sorts of uh, really good pictures coming in. So anyway, guys, God bless. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.